Did you know that China is the largest producer of batteries in the world? And these batteries power electric vehicles which are designed to reduce pollution and harmful emissions. And emissions such as carbon dioxide, nitrogen dioxide and carbon monoxide are significant contributors to climate change and air pollution. And they can lead to a range of environmental issues like global warming, acid rain and respiratory problems in humans. Traditional gasoline or diesel powered vehicles emit these pollutants into the atmosphere every time they are driven. However, EVs don't release any harmful gases during operation. So, by transitioning to EVs, we can significantly reduce the negative impact of transportation on our environment and public health. Moreover, reducing our reliance on gasoline and diesel has multiple benefits. Firstly, it decreases our consumption of finite fossil fuels, which are major contributes to greenhouse gas emissions and environmental degradation. And secondly, it lessens our dependence on oil imports, which can have geopolitical and economic effects. And finally, it promotes the use of renewable energy source for charging EVs and further reducing carbon emission and advancing sustainable energy practices. But behind the scene, it's important to ensure that the electric car batteries are safe to use. So that's where the battery management system BMS comes in. The BMS monitors important aspects like temperature, voltage and state of charge, optimizing the battery's performance and extending its lifespan. So by enhancing the reliability of EVs, the BMS encourages more people to use them and helping us move faster towards the cleaner and more sustainable future. With that said, hello everyone and welcome to this session in which we will discuss battery management system for EVs. But before we get into it, make sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated on our latest tech content from Edureka. And also, visit our Edureka website for training and certification courses, the link to which is in the description box below. So first, let us understand what an electric vehicle is. So, an electric vehicle is powered by an electric motor that draws electricity from a battery rather than a gasoline-powered consumption engine. And it can be charged using an external power source. Electric vehicles use lithium-ion batteries and these batteries can be used over and over again and you can recharge them at any time no matter how full or empty they are. Lithium, the lightest metal, is used in these batteries but they don't actually contain the lithium metal. Instead, they have the lithium ion. An ion is an atom that has an electric charge due to the loss or the gain of one or more electrons and the lithium ion batteries are much safer than any other type of batteries. They are reliable and can store a lot of energy and are less likely to catch fire, making them the best choice for powering electric cars. EVs use a battery pack made up of thousands of cells working together to form a module. So each cell has four main parts, the anode, cathode, electrolyte and separator. The cathode contains nickel, cobalt and magnets. The anode uses graphite and the electrolyte has lithium salts. So these cells are combined into modules and many modules are connected to create a pack. At the pack level, managing the battery's performance is challenging because cells charge and discharge at different rate and operate under various conditions like temperature, state of charge and state of health. So this is why the battery management system BMS is crucial. It handles charging and discharging to minimize stress and extend the battery life. The BMS also includes cooling mechanism to keep the temperature in check and monitors the charge rate across the entire pack to ensure peak performance and longevity. And if you are wondering how long EV batteries last, then let me tell you that the most manufacturers offer warranty of 5 to 8 years or up to 100,000 miles showing their quality and reliability. And additionally, an electric car battery is expected to last between 10 and 20 years before needing replacement and making it a long-term and cost-effective investment. And as we have previously discussed that charge balancing and thermal management are the key elements of an efficient battery management system. So now let's explore this further and understand it. Lithium-ion batteries work best within a certain temperature range. So if they get too hot or too cold, their performance can drop and they can even get permanently damaged. And in extreme cases, they can overheat and catch fire. So to prevent this, a battery management system helps control the battery's temperature. So imagine a car with a cooling system to keep the engine from overheating. Similarly, the BMS uses temperature sensors placed in the battery pack to monitor the cell's temperature. And if it detects that the battery is getting too hot or too cold, 
it will activate a cooling or heating system to keep the battery within its safe temperature range and common coolants used for this include air water glycol dielectric oil and refrigerant so here is an example think of a laptop that gets hot after being used for a long time so inside there is a fan that turns on to cool it down the bms is an electric vehicle works similarly but is more advanced so the bms also handles balancing the battery cells even new cells can have slightly difference in how much energy they can hold and how quickly they lose it so over time these differences can grow and causing more cells to wear out faster than others and leading it to an imbalance in the battery's performance there are two types of balancing passive balancing and active balancing passive balancing so this method drains excess energy from the stronger cells so that all cells have the same charge level and active balancing this method transfer energy from a stronger cells to the weaker ones so by balancing the cells the bms ensures that the battery performs efficiently and lasts longer as i mentioned earlier china is leading the way in battery innovation the biggest battery company in the world catl is based in china and in 2023 catl announced a new lfp that is lithium ion phosphate battery that can power a car for 370 miles with just 10 minutes of charging and another chinese company byd has also created its own version of an lfp battery called the blade battery so both catl and byd are pushing the boundaries of battery technology with these lithium ion phosphate batteries making electric cars more efficient and convenient so the battery management system ensures the safety efficiency and longevity of lithium ion batteries used in electric vehicles and by monitoring and controlling factors like temperature voltage and state of charge the bms prevents performance degradation and potential safety hazards it also balances the energy among battery cells to maintain optimal performance with a reliable bms evs become more dependable and promoting wider adoption and contributing to a cleaner and more sustainable future so with this we have come to the end of this session on battery management system and i hope now it's clear why the battery management system in electric vehicle is crucial and if you find this video informative and interesting do like and subscribe to our channel and happy learning i hope you have enjoyed listening to this video please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to edureka channel to learn more happy learning